not have breath. I'll be perfectly blessed to you all. The altar you left. I can share and concur with you on tonight, amen, that, amen, we ought, we ought to be grateful tonight, amen, amen, as Elder David said tonight, amen, that, amen, we didn't go looking for God because God has never been lost, amen, right. it's us that have right. been right. lost and transgressed, right. 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 amen, it's right. us, amen, that was in darkness, amen, God has always been light, God will always be holy, God will always be righteous, God will always be upright, God will always be loving, God will always be kind, but his grace, amen, will not always chide with man. Right. So, amen, it behooves us, amen, in this day and time, we talked about this morning in the last day, that men would not endure sound doctrine, amen, but right. they would heap to themselves teachers with itching ear. Right. And that's what happened, amen, even back, amen, in the Old Testament, amen, the Old Testament, amen, was concealed, and the New Testament, it is revealed, right. amen. So, right. we find tonight, amen, in the Word of God, amen, that, amen, the, the devil always wants to, amen, bring Amen. Guilt upon you and think that you cannot return to God. Right. Yes, sir. Oh, I can't go back to God. What are they going to say about me? What can I do? Uh -huh. I can't go back to the church. But I thank God, amen, that even in my fall, amen, God was gracious enough, amen, right. amen, right. and merciful right. enough and kind right. enough right. to forgive me. Not only did God forgive me, amen, right. not only did God redeem me, amen, but God counted me faithful, amen, and enabled me and putting me back into the ministry, which he didn't right. have to do. Right. Oh, yes. Fooled by grace. Right. Mm -hmm. But the devil will have you fooled that you can always go out there and sin. Yeah. Amen. And come back right. to God and say, God, forgive me. But there comes a time in life where God will turn his back. Right. And while you are out there in sin, 
You're taking a dangerous chance right. because right. God could return it in a moment right. and if you're found outside the ark of the covenant, you cannot enter in. Right. So it's by the grace of God that we are able to come back into the house of God. We're able to live by the anointing of God. We're able, amen, to have the Holy Ghost on the inside. And if you let the Holy Ghost lead you and guide you, right. God will do more great right. and mighty right. things through you. Right. Yes, but you got to surrender your life to yes, God. But here we find, amen, in the word of God tonight, amen, in 1 Kings, amen, uh, chapter 17, where Elijah the Tishbite, he made them, amen. And you notice how, amen, uh, 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 Bishop, I notice how, amen, uh, 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 when we're in sin, we always find to lay blame on everybody else but ourselves, amen. But when God, amen, when Ahab met Elijah, amen, he went and said, oh, yeah, here's the one that troubles Israel. Right. Ahab wanted to blame right. Elijah for what had happened. Right. Right. But had he, and Ahab had done what God has called us, amen, as believers today to do, amen, be not unequally yoked, amen, come out from among them and be ye separate, right. said right. the Lord of hope, and right. I will receive you unto right. myself. Right. You shall be my sons and my daughters. I will be your God, and you shall be my sons and my daughters. But here was Ahab, amen, that went out, amen, and got him a wife, amen, Jezebel, <laughs> of the Zidonians, amen, amen, I serve with you, amen, that, amen, we that are born again, we that are in the light, amen, cannot go out in fellowship with them in darkness. Right. We have no reason. Right. Right. So why would I go out, amen, from a miss, amen, holiness, and seek a woman of the world, amen, that is an idolater, right. and right. think that I can bring her in, Right. And transform her. It's going to take God. Right. Right. We hear people all the time saying, well, you know, well, he's going to be all right. I'm going to bring him to church and God going to clean him up. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Is he? And what yeah. Is he the one that God chose? Is he the one that God has chosen for you? But Ahab went out and married Jezebel. And then Jezebel turned Ahab's heart, amen, away from the true God. And Ahab began to serve the God of the Zidonians. Amen. He began to serve, amen, amen, Baal, amen, the God of fertility. And he began to serve Astaroth, amen, amen, the God, amen, of, of, of the suns and the moon. But we got to understand, amen, that God, amen, is God, amen, amen, amen. He created the sun and the moon. He created the stars, amen. God created everything, but he said it was good. It's us that goes out and convert, amen, the things of God and make them become abomination. Right. Because we try to change the form and the, and the way that God has placed things in the earth. We try to go and change it. God don't need us to change anything. Right. All right. God right. needs us to do right. is be right. transformed right. by the renewing of our mind. Right. Right. All God wants to do is come through repentance, amen, and baptism in his name and in the filling of the Holy Ghost. And we can live a saved and sanctified life. I tell my wife all the time I have a problem with people, amen, they go, amen, all the way out here, a lot of people get up in the pool pit, amen, and even in testify and say, amen, holding is still right. Well, I'm here to tell you tonight, breaking new, holding has never been wrong. Right. That's right. right. Because from right. the beginning of time, God has always said, I'm a holy God. Right. Holy right. God. Right. God is a holy right. God. God has right. always required holiness and righteousness. Right. It is not our righteousness, because our righteousness has still be right. 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 <laughs> but the righteousness of God, amen, is because we are right standing with God because of the redemptive work of Jesus Christ who came and died, amen, and gave his life for us, amen, that we might have a right to the tree of life. Right. The Bible says in John chapter 1, amen, men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. So they didn't want to right. accept Jesus. Right. So as you were talking about, amen, uh, earlier, Brother Davis, amen, that it's coming that time now, amen, that we got to rejoice, amen, because we got an opportunity, yeah. amen, to assemble in the right. house of God. Right. But there are places, right. amen, that Bishop already has given us his testimony, amen, by even over in Africa. Those folks, amen, in some parts of the country, amen, they are caught with a vow. Mm -hmm. They are key. You can walk around today with your Bible in your hand and under your arm, proud. Right. And nobody said nothing. But these people have to hide their vow. They have to meet in secret places. Yes, sir. You're right. They were first called Christian at Antioch. I always stop to think about it, man, when God, amen, first allowed the Holy Ghost to come on the scene. Amen. The Christian received it gladly. They went from house to house fellowshipping. But they forgot one thing. God told them, amen, go ye into all the world. Right. Mm -hmm. When, amen, the day of Pentecost coming, they were all filled, amen, in the house. They got the Holy 
go. They yeah. start rejoicing and go from house to house, amen, eating bread with sickness of heart right. and gladness right. and fellowshipping right. and right. breaking the bread right. and prayer and loving one another, amen, walking the same walk, talking the same talk, minding the same thing, amen, amen, being obedient to the leaders. Amen. Right. And they got comfortable and complacent mm. Mm -hmm. and stayed in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So God had to send persecution right. to scatter the Christians right. that they remember that not only was it to be in Jerusalem, but in Judea, Samaria, and unto the utmost right. parts of the earth. Right. Now, isn't it strange that God went back, amen, and gave them command to go to the very places that he had already been? Mm -hmm. Because he had to go and set the stage. Mm -hmm. right. The Bible said he must needs go through Samaria. Right. Right. Because there were some right. souls in Samaria right. that needed to be touched. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. There are souls that God is calling for us to be able to go out, amen, and witness to. But we, amen, amen, because we are not sensitive to the Spirit of God, amen, not because, amen, amen, we're afraid, but we don't hear it from God. Mm -hmm. Right. But here what they have, and he began to blame Elijah for all the trouble that it came upon Israel. It, it's amazing how, amen, somebody can come and share with you, amen, about the things of God. And yet, amen, in our mess, amen, we'll, we'll, we'll blame the church. Well, now nah, I ain't going down. Them church folks hurt me. And, and, and I, I went to the pastor, and the pastor didn't do nothing about it. Well, wait a minute. What did they do? And you notice how they're coming with all kinds of excuses. And sometimes they can't even give you an answer. Right. Well, what right. happened? Right. I don't want to talk about it. Well, how can we yeah. help you if you don't talk about it? Right. Right. Thank you. Man. Who hurt you? How did you get hurt? What happened? I've been hurt by people in the church. Really? <laughs> well, you really examine your life, Hawthorne, and say, was it, was it really the people in the church or was it really Hawthorne living in sin? Right. And because my sin had been made known, God had pulled the cover off. Right. Now I want to blame everybody. Right. Right. It's the Adamic nature within us that calls us to do the blaming. Amen. Because you look in the Bible, amen. What did Adam do? When God came down, he said, that woman you gave me. <laughs> Adam didn't say, Lord, I see. He said, it's that woman you gave me. He said, even from the tree which I, it, it, it's that woman, Lord. But Adam really got through saying, bone of your bone and flesh of your flesh. Thou shalt be called woman. <laughs> Then the Bible said that Adam was right there, amen, while the enemy whispered in her ear and told her that she should not surely die. Right. Adam, you should have stood up and been the man, the king, the priest, and the prophet in right. your home. Right. You should have let the devil know, look, not in this God. Right. Right. You can't come right. here. Right. You ain't welcome here. No, right. no, you're, you're right. on rule down in here. You was in hell. Right. You didn't like it, so <laughs> don't try to hold me back. Right. Yes, now that God gave me dominion, now you need to sit right. back. You lost right. your authority. Right. You was up there. You had an opportunity right, yeah. to worship him. You had an opportunity to lead the worship and to pray. But right. you chose to get pride in yourself and right. say, look, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be like the most hard God. I put my throne above God. How can the creature say to the creator that you're going to be above right. him? Right. Yeah. Right. 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 It's hard to do. Oh, yeah. <sighs> it said, Ahab the king meets Elijah. And I'm just reading, amen, uh, some of my notes. Amen. It said, Ahab the king meets Elijah with these words. I doubt he that trouble gives him. Trouble means, this is the word, amen, trouble. Now, this is, this is what trouble means, to stir up, disturb, to agitate, to afflict with pain or discomfort, to call mental agitation or distress. Don't that sound like something that will come and try to do with us? Yes. When it brings fear? Yes. Give us that mental agitation. agitation. Every time somebody says something about Jesus, don't call that name. That's the <coughs> demons inside that's acting up. It ain't right. the I got to understand that it, it ain't Sister Hawthorne and I that have a disagreement or discord. It's the end that I came and tried to sow a seed. Yeah, but right. because I stay before the face of God and then praying and seeking the face of God and being led by the Holy Ghost, amen, I can recognize that that's not her, but it's a spirit. That's right. And to give you Bible for that, amen, if you look in the Bible, amen, it said that when Jesus asked uh, Peter, who do men say that I am? And that's something that Elijah says with one of the prophets, some great prophet. He said, well, who do you say I am? He said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Right. Then when Jesus go on to explain to him what he must suffer, what he must go through, right. Peter said, Uh-uh, Lord, it be far from me. No, 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 Lord. He said, I rebuke thee, Satan. Right. Because he knew Satan was trying to thwart what had to happen. He didn't want the redemption for us to come forward, amen, because he knew that he could get Jesus to be like the first Adam and give up his authority, then he would, amen, what? He would have won the victory. Mm -hmm. I thank God, amen, for the seven hour. All right. Yes. Who stood. Yes. And took 
the mission that he had and did not abort his mission. That's right. right. But he stayed as a true soldier. He stayed as a true general in the army. He died. And, but he, when he died, now we got to think about when he died, he gave his life. He yeah. said, I lay it down free. Right. And I pick it up again. No man can take my life. Right. Nobody can take it. Right. He laid it down because right. he loved us so much. Right. 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 But because they have, amen, amen, and Israel had to come, got into a sinful state, amen, they was looking, amen, to blame everybody else but themselves. So they started looking around, and they have, amen, didn't even look at his house, amen, amen. You have to realize tonight that when you get serious about serving God, 100%, listen, son, listen, when you realize that you get serious about serving God, 100% sold out, you will be viewed as a troublemaker. Why? Because most people are satisfied to live around the altar, but you have because they said, why? Because most people are satisfied to live around the altar. But you have chosen to live on the altar. A living sacrifice. Right. Wow. See we get a lot of folks to come around. We we, we said, you know, in, in church we said we want everybody to come around the altar for prayer. And everybody gather around the altar. Mm -hmm. But there are those of us in here, amen, that we don't just gather around the altar. We amen, we become like Abraham and I, we become, amen, a living sacrifice. And we begin to lay ourselves on the altar. Amen. So when you lay yourself on the altar, you are asking God, God, take me as a sacrifice. I present my body as a living sacrifice, right. holy right. Right. and acceptable right. unto God. Right. Which is not, that, that, that's just not a reasonable, sir. Right. That's just something that I, I should be doing. Right. Bishop Oz wants you not to tell me that I need to go to the altar. <laughs> Bishop David, that little David said, tell me I need to come to the altar. Brother, you, you know, you know, you know. God said you screamed, you didn't come back. And yeah. the best place when I'm screaming is at the altar. Right, right. I can't right. sit at home and mope and have a pity party. The enemy comes in and he destroys us while we're at home with our pity party. Right. Cause we look at right. it a fault to blame everybody but ourselves. I ain't going there no more. Cause they gonna, they gonna call my name after you come up and pray. They wanna pray for me. They gonna tell me that God got something great for me. It's not you. <laughs> it's the spirit. That's working against you because that spirit don't want you to come and be set free. But God want to set you free. We are to the altar because we won't come to God. We come to God and we get around the altar. We come up here, amen. We'll get, amen, full of sin, amen, and still will not repent. Right. Right. I can't sit here and hold, amen, the word of God, amen, and hold his word secretly. To come and stand behind this sacred pole and know the sin is in my life. It's playing a dangerous game. I polluted all the God showed us throughout the Bible that, hey amen, these false prophets had no, no, no conscience. They, right. they didn't say nothing about right. they, they thought they could still go out and offer up sacrifice to God. Right. God didn't want it. It became right. a stench to his nostril. We have polluted the altar. How have we polluted the altar? Because America have let down the standards. Right. We took down prayer out of the schoolhouse. Right. We took correction out of the schoolhouse. When we allowed that to happen, amen, we allowed the enemy to come in and take control. I remember at the last fellowship that I attended, amen, as, as, as Brother Dave was telling us, amen, we, 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 we dropped the ball right. because we're not true soldiers. A true soldier will not abandon his post and he's properly relieved. We have not been properly relieved of our duty. We have not been properly relieved of our calling. So why are we allowing the enemy to run roughshod over us that said we're right. blood ball? Right. Oh, my, my God. We said we got the Holy Ghost. We said we got the anointing. He said when the Holy Ghost comes, you shall receive power. Right. Yes, After right. the Holy Ghost has come right. upon you, right. demons shall tremble at the name of Jesus. In my name shall you cast out right. In my name right. shall you lay hands on the sick right. and they shall recover. Right. Why are the signs not found of the call? We have polluted the altars of the Lord. Because we're coming to the house of God. We'll no longer come to the house of God. Amen. Amen. In reverence. But now we come to the house of God. Amen. Out of religious practice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And God said he's sick of it. Yeah. It's a stench to his nostril. For me just to come to Sunday morning service. Amen. Sit in the church. Won't clap my hand. Won't sing the hymn. Won't participate. Won't come down in prayer. I'm sitting there dying. But I'm too proud. Right. To come forward. Right. And say I need help. Right. When I get sick, I'm going to call on the doctor. I get so sick in my stomach, I'm going to tell Sister Hawthorne she might have to do something. Bring me some Pepto Bismol. Bring me some Tom. Bring me something. I this, this upset right. stuff. I can't lay here. I'm in pain. Yes. I shared with you this morning. I'm in my falling and how the enemy, 
Amen. Tried to deal with me last night. Amen. In my body, racking with pain. The enemy wanted me to lay down and just say, you know, I'm going to call this in the morning just tell him, man, I hurt myself at work. Uh, I apologize. I ain't going to be able to come. Uh, man, I'm just hurting my body. Just pray for me. But the devil is alive. Amen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because Jesus said, by his stripes, I'm healed. Right. Right. So I thought about this thing. I said, now, at Jesus. Who was wounded from my transgression, bruised for my iniquity. Yeah. Oh my God. Hmm. And chest time was peace was laid upon him. By his Christ am I healed. So I thought about, and he was bruised for my iniquity. Yeah. Amen. Yes. And I thought about when he said in Matthew, he himself took my infirmity and bore my infirmity. Right. That means that he took sickness right. from among me. That means that sickness don't belong to me. So if it get upon my body, I have the authority in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. To command that right. affliction right. to be removed. Right. 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 If I don't have the strength enough, then I need to call, amen, for some of the saints, amen, and get them, let's, let's bond together and yoke up together, amen, we can get rid of it. Right. He can't stay here. Right. Jesus said, amen, the next time the Lord thy God that healeth thee. He said, I take sickness from among thee. Sickness don't belong to us, amen. Yes, it attacks our natural body. But the spiritual man in us don't let that, let that thing know, just like the one with your blood. I just got to touch the hem of his gun. Right, right, but we are polluted right. the altars of God because we won't come, amen, to God for the help that we need. Amen. We look beyond, amen, the God in pastor. And we look at him and view him as a man rather than looking at the anointing of God and the spirit of God that dwells on the inside. Right, right. The word said, if there's any sick among you, call for the elders of the church. And they shall lay hands on you, and you shall what? Right. Pray the prayer of faith, and you shall recover. Right. 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 But because we look, amen, at, at, at Bishop Osborne and, and Brother Davis, amen, and just mere men, amen, we look at them and we miss getting our healing. Right. Then you got to have faith to believe that God is going to do it. Right. It's not in the, right. it's not in the right. man, it's not in right. me, but it's in God. Yes. But you got to believe right. that the God that's in me yes. has the anointing, amen, and the power to heal you. Right, that's right. Amen. You got to come in right. tonight and believe, amen, right. with a spirit right. of expectancy that when God comes right. into the house, right. Lord, I'm sick in my body, right. God. Right. But God, I'm going in your name. Right. I'm walking by faith. Right. And God, by your faith, by right. my faith, you said according to my faith, right. be it unto me. Right. So, God, I'm going to Hebrew yes. Spring this morning. Right. And God, right. even while my right. body is right. afflicted, right. Lord, God, yeah. I still believe that you still going to heal me, God. Right. Yeah. I'm already healed, even though the symptoms are here, God. But, God, my body is healed. Right. The devil want me to think about the symptoms. He want me to think about the pain. But I think about the healing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm already healed. Amen. God's word is true. Amen. Praise Woo. the Lord. My Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Still in my body this morning, but I told you as I came, and then the closer we got to Hebrew Spring, the more I felt God. Praise the Lord. Why? Because I believe God by faith. Amen. Right. Right. I believe God. Right. 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 I take God literally at his word. Yes. I tell people all the time, like, man, I, I can't, I can't stand on your ground. But my vow, <laughs> when I go to God, people, my Bible says, when I go to God, I turn to the promise of God. Right. Whenever God comes to me in that word, right. I turn to that scripture and I lay it out at the altar and I build me an altar before God. I say, God, according to your word in yeah. my faith, you right. said, God, be right. it unto me. Right. And God, I'm literally yeah. standing upon your word and your promises. And God, by your word, I'm already here. Right. God, by your word, I'm already saved. God, by your word, my household is saved. God, by your word, I'm delivered. God, this affliction, this stronghold, it's got to go. Because God, your word is stronger than a stronghold. Your word is stronger than the infirmity. So I'm standing upon your word. That's right. Israel got blindsided and they began to trust and go down there and bow down to these false gods. Yeah, that's right. And it brought about judgment from God. So God got tired of them. They never did want to change. So God sent the man of God down there to let them know, look, y'all got to get this thing right. <laughs> y'all want to see me move? I'll move. It says the altar is the meeting place with God. It's where you clam Mount Moriah and give your eyes up to God. It is a place of sacrifice, death to self. <clears throat> it is a place of consecration. We will never get nowhere in God without denying ourselves. Right. Jesus said, 
if a man want to follow him, he must first deny himself. Take up his cross and right. follow out the That's evil. right. That's right. right. We got too many right. folks, amen, that want to say that they're serving God. Amen. They want to carry the title of God. They want to carry the benefits of God. Right. But they don't want to deny themselves. Right. They want them, they want people to think that it's in them that they doing the power. It's not in them. It's in him that we move right. and live and have our right. being. Right. It's in God. Right. Lord, they pollute it to all the God because God they try to go and make a name for themselves. Don't you understand that in the, that the Tower of Battle, God destroyed the folk because they wanted to make a name for themselves? Right, you think right. God done changed? He's telling right. the Lord that God. Right. I'm the same today, tomorrow, forever, Lord. Right. Right. God yes. said, I changed nothing. Right. Then right. God told Abraham, is there anything too hard for God? No. So if he told that to Abraham, and we are to cheer the spiritual arrows of Abraham, then every promise and, and the thing that he gave Abraham, it belongs to you. Right. If you're walking by faith, living in obedience to God, it belongs to you. Right. Right. But you got to be living by faith. you right. got to walk upright before God. Right. You can't have sin in your life. Right. You can't come in here, amen, on Sunday morning, amen, and praise God, amen, Sunday, amen, Sunday night. You got joy at the house waiting on you. You got Susan sitting around the corner, amen. You can't go down to the bar, amen. But you got to live holy. Right. Separated from the world. Right. God told Israel, amen, when you leave out of here, don't join yourself to these other That's countries. Right. Don't get That's affinity right. with them. Don't bond right. with these folks because right. they're going to draw you from me. Right. Yes. yes, sir. That's why we can't go out there, amen, and mingle right. ourselves among yeah. the world. Right. Yes, some of us work among people that are unsafe. But I don't have to go there and sit down at the same table and eat lunch with them. Right. I find me a place under the tree yeah. and eat by myself. Not that I'm so special and I'm, I'm, I'm so righteous, but I just can't contaminate myself. Right. That's contamination. So when I come, amen, and been contaminated with all this God on my job throughout the week, the first place I want to get to is the altar. Lord, I repent. Lord, I got to stop out of brazen altar and be clean. The altar of repentance. God needs to be cleansed with God. Ooh, God, get this filth out. God, I'm, right. I just feel so right. wrong, God. I can't even approach you, God. God needs to get, oh, Lord, just cleanse me, Lord, so I can right. approach you, God. God, I, I, ain't done, I don't know what it is, God, but something weighing me down. I need you to move it. And God will move it. Then I can approach the altar of God in contrition. Right. And say, Lord, hear me. Oh, God. Cleanse me, Lord, God. Right. Wash me, Lord. Right. Redeem me, Lord, right. God. Oh, God, make me whole again, God. Right. Because, God, yeah. I, I feel a connection being broken, God. Oh, God, I don't want that connection to be broke. I want God, I want to stay connected to God. Right. I want to know right. that the Spirit right. of God is on the inside of me. I don't want to get up, amen, and do like Samson, amen, amen, and lay his head in the wrong lap, amen, get up and say, well, I'm going to shake, I'm going to shake myself off like I did all the time, and I'm still going to go out. Samson shook himself and found it, didn't have realized that the anointing of God was gone. Right. Still trying to operate in something that right. did not belong to right. him. Yeah. He forsook yes, sir. the commandments of yes, God. Sir. It's the same thing that happened up. We go out there and we mess around and sin. Right, right, get ourselves right, in a backslidden right, state. The nothing right, of God is not right, there no more. There. You got to come and get you a mediator. Preach. Somebody yeah. got to bring you back into the presence of God. Right. Yeah. You yeah. just can't come and just say, Lord, forgive me. Right. Preach it up. Because there's some things that are happening in your life that are contaminated you that you need an yeah. intercessor. Right. You need right. a mediator. Right. Yeah. Now, Christ is the mediator, right. but he also gave right. you a pastor. Right. Amen. Right. That you need to call. Right. Yeah. That's the truth. Pastor, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm going through. I need some prayer. Yeah. He called for, the, for all the elders. And they get around the sisters. Amen. We get around and we pray. Amen. That God will restore you. Yes, Amen. Sir. Amen. The brother said this morning, amen, that when a brother, amen, a pastor was talking about, amen, the Bible said when a brother is overtaken in the fault, we which our spirit to restore what? Such a one. In the spirit of meekness. Yes, yes. But they have had got so caught up with Jezebel that he allowed her to change his way of thinking. Right. He forgot about the true God of his ancestors and began to go and follow out the bed. Then they began to be a growth. And you, you notice how, amen, how sin, amen, began to take you. Sin is a downward spiral. I share it, amen, with Sister Hawthorne. There's always been a thing, amen, that I've always said, amen. And I know a lot of us have heard it before. But we don't take heed to what we hear sometimes. Right. Sin will take you farther than you want to go. That's right. Yes. That's yes. right. Yes, sir. Cost you more than you want to pay. Right. 
right. and it'll keep you longer than you want to stay. Yes, sir. Sin has always been a downward spiral. You don't believe yeah. me? Look in the Bible. The Bible says every step Jonah took was down. Down, down, down. Good. Every step that the prodigal son took right. when he left his father's house right. was down. Right. Right. Yes. But yeah. the prodigal son had sense enough to recognize that he was outside the ark right. of the cup. He said, look at here, wait a minute, how can I serve my daddy again? He went to stop eating a hog, which was against, amen, custom, and, and all that for the Jew. Amen. That stuff was abomination. They couldn't right. even touch it. It was unclean. Right. He thought about, whoa. I'm already in filth. I ain't got, I ain't got, I'm dirty. I ain't got to get filthy. God can clean me up right now. I just right. got a little dirt on. And he went and said, how can I serve my father out? They got food up there. I right. and, 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 right. and, and, and that's right. what the devil called us to do a lot of times. We as believers sometimes always try to rehearse what we're going to come tell Bishop Osborne when we don't went out there and fell out, fell, fell out of grace. We try to rehearse what we're going to come. What kind of story we're going to come and bring into the house of God and tell the man of God. But God has already spoken to the man of God. Why are you a coming? God has already revealed to him what's going on. And before you can get that to mind, he just said, don't say a word. Make the altar your right. Lay yourself on the altar to become a living sacrifice. And if you do that, God will begin to work a work in your life. Right, 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 right. But we allow the enemy, and, and sometimes we get blinded. And I, and, and I thank God that he didn't let my conscience get seared like a hot iron that, hey amen, I got to the point where I would call wrong right and right wrong. Right, and I would, right, hey amen, right. blame God for yeah. all of my deliverance. Right. And all of my downfall and all of my pitfall, when I found myself in the pit, it, I realized that it was not God, but it was Hawthorne who had turned his back on right. God yes, and walked sir. away from God. God was still standing there without scared thing. Right. <clears throat> when I came back and he drew me, I repented. Did the proper steps, went back to my pastor, <clears throat> went before the church. We don't do that no more. Right. We just come into the house of God, we forgive. Preach. Make that thing known. Put the devil on display. Because you need to let other saints know that if you, you, you can't play with God. You can't go out there and, and, and play with the sin and come back into the house of right. God. And right. we just going right. to receive you back right. in the house of God. Restore you back in play right. like if nothing ever happened. Right. There are some steps that have to be taken. Yes. There are consequences that goes along with your decision. You got to receive the consequences. David repented. Right. Amen. Right. But right. God said, now, it ain't going to come upon you, but it's going to come to your house. Yeah. 